Okay, we're just going to do a little video garden tour of my garden. <clears throat> I have some corn here that I never planted. It's most likely not going to make it in this year because I just don't have time. You can see I've got bell pepper plants happening. I've got peppers coming here. I've got peppers coming here. <laughs> I've got peppers coming here, which is awesome. Some lettuces, different varieties, romaines and such, which we've been in the process of pulling from the outside uh, as, the, as everything matures. Absolutely beautiful. Our wonderful marigolds, which seem to be doing an amazing job with the pest control. I've got broccoli here, which has completely taken over. I had another thing of broccoli here, which I pulled um, majority of it yesterday because it's just it's too much it's too big for the garden for as much as I have but if you look down in here you can see it's starting to form broccoli and then look a little bit further more marigolds the tomato plants are off the hook doing so so well <clears throat> just suckered that one over there a little bit it's Bonnie Bell and I've got some tomatoes already on the back side of it um, Head lettuce, which is really cool. You can see everything, you know, turning in here. It's going to be a head of lettuce, and we have also, you know, kind of snipped some of the, the stuff from the outside. This section here is all radishes, um, and it's one square foot per spot. But if you go and you look down here, lift the leaves back, you can see that we've got some red happening down in there with that. We've got some more romaine there in the back and another variety of lettuces. Having my girlfriends come over and take some of it because I'm completely overwhelmed with lettuce. Here's yet another type of lettuce. And then my kale, which is just absolutely beautiful. Off the hook gorgeous. And then we've got our stuff climbing in the back here. We've got some sugar snap fruit peas. You know, we keep, you know, pushing them, guiding them to climb this thingy that we have back here. We'll go ahead and walk around the other side. And that's just some cilantro. Some more tomato plants. Oh, there's a sucker that needs to come off. See it right there? This place here where the V and the tomato plant happens. This, if you pinch this off like so, that's what needs to happen to sucker your tomato plants. Everything's looking good here. And you can see here, this is a sucker that I didn't get, but it's all right. I'm gonna let it go because it's huge and beefy. Gonna let it keep producing. And you may go down low, you see we've got some tomatoes coming. So again, you know, more of the tomato plants absolutely gorgeous everything growing like gangbusters up here in Oregon but thank you my wonderful husband Michael for setting up this garden box for me I've been having a blast with it and I love it and I can't wait to reap more <laughs> and the harvest from it Kelly Guy saying goodbye <laughs>